What is up, everybody? It is easy. Back doing another Clash of Clans video. Finally, it's been a long time. Been real busy. Got the event going on. This is uh, the Balloon Haste event, and one of everyone's favorite events. We have a lot of people that like to use balloons. Haste is another huge spell that we all like to use. So we have tons of action going on. Uh, had a bunch of replays to choose from, so I just uh, picked a couple of. Uh, couple of different guys in the clan that have been really active decided to put them in the video got a lot of stuff going on inside the game itself have some uh, game drama with uh, some of the bands I'm sure uh, anyone who's watching YouTube regularly knows what's going on we've had a bunch of big bands including some uh, some pretty big clans that were affected by it so we'll talk about that a little later on um, so first we'll just get right into the actual attacks this this one right here is uh, a little easy it's my smallest account uh, using the balloons, Town Hall 9, 10, 11, effective in all three Town Halls. Town Hall 8, it's a little harder. You're going to have to use, uh, usually use dragons with them. Uh, now, dragons are another big troop right now, a uh, big war troop. You don't usually farm with them, I guess. Not in, not in Town Hall 9, 10, or 11, I, I, I guess. I don't, but uh, you might. <laughs> but uh, as far as balloons go, they are probably the elite troop to get three stars. They are a defense only troop. That means they go after, they go straight for your defenses. They're really squishy, uh, which means they go down really easy once they're targeted. So you have to use, uh, you have to use your brain a little bit, and you have to tank form. People do it in a bunch of different ways. Uh, you'll see most people, we're gonna, they're gonna tank form with lava hounds. Lava hounds are in Town Hall Nine. They are pretty much like the golem of the air. They're big, hefty troops that don't do a lot of damage, but they they take a lot of. Uh, a lot of, they take a big punch for the balloons, so they get right up over the air defenses, and the air defenses can't shoot at anything else except for the lava hounds. And once they finally pop, they turn into a bunch of lava pups, and th those pups will help you clean up the base. Now, a good idea if you're going to be if you don't use balloons a lot, it, which means that you're not in Town Hall Nine yet, because <laughs> I think everyone in Town Hall Nine has has used them by now. But if you don't use them a lot, use the minions with them. And there's a specific order that you kind of want to use when you're using the lava hounds. Now, I mean the, the balloons. You're gonna see a bunch of different tactics here. Uh, um, what I'd like to do on on any of any of my accounts is use the heroes. I'll put the heroes in first to distract at least some of the defenses towards the heroes, and then you'll you'll put the balloons in, and then the lava hounds will cross over them because they're a lot faster, and they and they don't stop at anything except for the air defenses so if the air defenses are deep in the base the lava hounds are gonna fly past them so you have to kind of be mindful of where the air defenses are and how far away the the lava hounds are gonna be from your balloons because you want everything to shoot at the at the lava hounds and not the balloons uh, some of the defenses that are particularly tough on balloons are the wizard towers so if you're in the higher town hall levels and you see a wizard tower with those white caps on it they they're super dangerous to the to the balloons uh, of course, the air defenses are dangerous. Uh, another another really dangerous dangerous element will be the clan castle troops or the archer queen. Either one of those can wipe out all of them. Now, all these attacks are successful attacks, uh, but if you use balloons in every raid, you, you you will have some fails, just because, especially when farming, you kind of get in this rhythm where you're going, you 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 kind of moving right, right along. And then I'll then you'll have clan castle troops pop out when they have it in six or seven bases It'll throw you off a little bit Yeah, wizards in a clan castle can really do a number on balloons Even if you put a, a, a poison spell on the clan castle troops if they're wizards They may all still take one or two shots and I, th I think two shots takes out a balloon from a wizard So if they all get two shots and there's five or six in the clan castle that could potentially mean You know a third of your balloons going down. So you have to be mindful of that Okay, so let's see who's next. I believe the next one is Weppa. Yeah, he okay, so the next one's Weppa and it's not a balloon. <laughs> see this is what I do. But this is a great raid anyway, so we're gonna play it while while I talk about something else. So 
the drama inside the game. We have Supercell does for now. This back up right before I start. Supercell is the maker of the game. They have this interaction with the fans and with the players because they're constantly doing updates. So we have heard from them all about the rules, the regulations, the terms of service. It's on their website. It's on. Uh, it's, it's everywhere. Anything that's attached to the official Super Sa Supercell uh, website or the forums or anything like that, you can you can find the terms of service. You can find it in the game. There's a lot of things in the terms of service that we may not get in a lot of trouble for, but there's certain things that you will get in trouble for. And one of them is using any kind of third-party software, which that one of uh, that term most people call modding. There's other terms too, but uh, modding is probably the most popular one. What that is, is they'll use a another program to either look at a base and be able to see where everything is, or they'll be able to attack it outside of the game uh, structure, so they can attack it five or six times or ten times or however many times it takes before they beat it. And so now they practice against this base five or ten times and they, they know how to beat a really tough base and then they can go into the game in war and beat that tough base because they've practiced against it many, many times. So what they've done is they will ban whoever gets caught using it and they have the right to ban a player for life. That means if you are a player that spends money on gems and you've invested ten, fifteen thousand dollars that might sound ludicrous to some of some people, but that's not un uncommon. <laughs> uh, and when I mean uncommon, that's not uncommon. A lot of people spend a lot of money on the game. Uh, you spend money to speed up your the progress. You also use the gems to um, to play a little faster, build your troops faster, so you can enjoy the game a little more because you can do attacks right after another. So if you're on a little tighter schedule, you can get five or six attacks in. And a half hour instead of maybe one so a lot of people invest some money but then they go out and they want to try to gain some kind of advantage by modding and they will attack the base they're gonna attack in war they want to look better and it's a so that's what it is now here's my opinion on the modding and on the and on the penalty of it as far as having to use these the third-party software to play I think it's an ego trip for a lot of people. There's a, it's a great feeling to win for your clan, for yourself. But if you have to do it by cheating, it, it I mean, it depreciates the value for, for me immediately. It also just tells me what kind of person you are. Because if you have to cheat to win, you're not really winning. I mean, you may win, everyone may think you're winning, but you can't, you can't really think you're winning when you have to cheat to win. So it kind of takes away the fun it has to take away some of the fun for you. You can't be all that proud if you had to attack that same base 15 times before you could figure it out. Now what it does, what else it does, it shows that you're selfish because, and, and I'm not talking to you as in the person watching because I, it may sound like I'm being a dick, but it's frustrating for everyone in the community because they, Supercell has a very strict policy on it and it punishes not just the individual but the entire clan because the, the reason why they do it is because they can't get a hundred percent handle on this I don't know if it's a cost thing if it's a time thing but they can't get a handle on it and they want the modding to stop so they punish the entire clan and what that does is that might provoke other clan mates of yours to rat you out if they find out you're modding so they won't get banned uh, some very popular clans got hit and they were kicked out of their leagues uh, these are league clans these are guys at the top of the game and they took no mercy on them uh, they may promote the game they may have a YouTube channel that has tens of thousands of viewers they may talk about how wonderful the game is but if you get caught cheating you will lose your account <clears throat> it's dumb it, and it, it hurts the whole clan. It doesn't just hurt you. It hurts everyone. So don't, th this whole thing of modding is ridiculous. So I'm going to be th the next one in line. There's probably 50 people in, in front of me that have already sent this message out. But if you're modding, you're being a dick and stop. <laughs> That's all there is to it. And yeah, it's a cowardly way to play.
You don't need to attack 15 times before you do your attack. Uh, some people use it to resource hunt. I, I've heard that you can attack only maxed players. In other words, they have maxed uh, collectors and maxed storages. Makes it easier to farm. But you can do it without that because everyone else has. It's a, it's a good It's This game is great for a bunch of reasons. One of them is the competition. There's so many talented players and there's so many different things you can do within the game that makes it hard, makes it makes it uh, makes everything complex, makes it all work together, but yet uh, makes it different for everybody because everyone can do different things, build different bases, use different troops. So that kind of ruins it for everyone and they're not going to stop. They're going to keep on doing it and just wait until they catch someone in your clan and they suspend you for it. So become an activist in this because it's not going to go anywhere until everyone gets a handle on it. So that's it. Off the soapbox. Uh, sorry to Dave. Dave got into the video. I talked all the way through it. He's a Town Hall 8. Use Dragaloon. With the Dragaloon, just real quick. Dragaloon is a similar attack to the Laloon. Laloon is Lava Hounds and Balloons. Uh, Dragaloon is, Dragaloon, is Dragons and Balloons. And you'll use the Dragons to tank for the Balloons just like you would the Lava Hounds. And basically, you put those dragons in first, and then as they're engaging all the defenses, then you put the balloons in and strategic spots behind them. Usually, what I'll try to do is I'll find out where the air defenses are, and I'll put the I'll put the balloons in into a straight path to the air defenses, the shortest straight path you can get. And sometimes you'll be surprised where that short straight path is, because if there's three or four defenses in the way, it's going to zigzag through all those defenses before it hits the air defense. So sometimes your best bet is to is to really look at the base for that whole 30 seconds if you're doing a farm raid and see exactly where you want to put the, the balloons before you even start the attack because once you start the attack yeah, a lot of times you're going to just put them wherever uh, you feel <laughs> wherever you feel like it and then you get a fail. <laughs> if you believe it the, that insanity you just heard is what I call logic. <laughs> uh, Alright so uh, what Third Man just did is one of two different ways that people use the Laloon or the, or the Balloons. Uh, the second way we're not going to really get into as much because it's a little more complex and I'd like to show you some examples of it. But this one, this one right here, uh, we, we've done it twice in this video already and we're going to do it once more. He just basically put a big line of Balloons in and as soon as he put the line of Balloons in and they're all heading towards that outer wall, he dropped down one Lava Hound for each of the two air defenses that they were approaching. And so the Lava Hounds are much faster than the Balloons. They race past... There's a damn phone. They race past as the Balloons crossed over and sat on top of the air defenses and protected the Balloons. The air defenses only were able to shoot the Lava Hounds. And as the Balloons approached the outer wall, he dropped two hay spells. And what he was doing was basically leading the balloons with the hay spells but remember you want to place the hay spells where they are going not where you want them to go so a good idea is to use your spells like the hay spell or the rage spell on top of defenses you know that the balloons are going to go from defense to defense so just make sure you're putting them where they're going and it's not wishful thinking they're not, they're not going to go into the spell because it's there so that's really important to remember uh, now this next group of attacks we have three attacks coming up these are all from Ezekiel this is all from my main account uh, now what I'm doing is I am getting close to Titan. I've never trophy pushed not not really since I've Played the only time I've ever tr pushed trophies was to get into champ one to get the 2,000 gems After that I dropped right back down and then I kind of just hovered where I was supposed to be is what I thought uh, And now just this break from that for one second now. Here's another example of it I, I put a V shaped upside down V on the top of the base and then drop the two Lava Hounds. The two Lava Hounds are now sitting on top of those maxed air defenses for Town Hall 11. And here come the balloons. The, the air, defense, air defenses were covered up for most of that. So, they, so those balloons did not catch much damage from those at all. So as I'm pushing ahead towards Titan, I'm finally getting close. And I believe this base right here pops up. If I get one more 3 star or a couple more 3 stars... I was going to make it in a Titan. Came real close. Now I used... I'm using different troops in this in this raid here. And a matter of fact, I think the next attack I'm using the same troops as here. Because we have the balloon event going on. But I actually used the same army this entire time. And I was sitting down in Champion 3. Which is where I have been for almost a year. Um, and 
been experimenting with just a multitude of different army com combinations. I'll experiment on different war attacks when I'm farming and just had different levels of success so I'd win some I'd lose some and I was just basically hovering in right there in champion 3 well I changed my army to a queen walk with four healers and a couple other support troops uh, wall breakers a couple wizards and the main body of troops was the, were miners and finally maxed out the miners so from about a month ago till now I've lost a handful of attacks I, I don't know the exact number but uh, you know a couple I know I lost one today which was which I, I just haven't remember the last time I did so that made me realize well that's why I've made it to Titan because I changed my army to miners which I don't really use them that well in war but when it comes time to farm um, I'm using the queen walk and I'll do the same with the miners as I'm doing right here uh, I'll clear out a big portion of the base with this queen walk now that I'm on Town Hall 11 I can put the queen and the warden in together and what my goal is I'm trying to trigger the clan castle troops and trying to take them out with the queen I'm trying to trigger the, the queen the enemy queen and pull her over to me take her out with my queen and then I'm trying to take out as many of the air defenses as possible now normally when I'm using the miners I, I'll I'm trying to trigger uh, the, the giant bombs and trying to take out as many of the tough defenses as I can and open up a clear pathway to the core which will have Town Hall, which will have the Dark Elixir and which quite often has the Eagle Artillery and the Infernal Towers. So I'm using the Queen Walk to, to basically clear out everything except the except my goal which would be the core and in, in this case I'm going after the core with the balloons usually I'll go after them with the miners and this had great success that's why I made it all the way to Titan or almost a Titan here I am I, it's it's it was a, actually a really good ex experience for me actually now just to, to, to put that on hold for one second just notice the expert recording you see all the action going on in the top of the screen what is going on here <laughs> this is why I'm not a photographer oh there you go <laughs> so and now the Queen Walk has made it all the way around on the right hand side of the base still has the healers behind her uh, now the balloons have filtered all the way through the core of the base and now they're going they've made it all the way to the back side They're going up the back side of the base. There's just a couple more defenses. They have to take out I think there's one more air base defense the archer tower There's one cannon there and as soon as I got this I already I already kind of had a feeling that we had three star here so At this point I'm psyched, you know, I, I finally made it to Titan and at this point, I believe I'm I'm going to keep on pushing forward. And now I didn't know, because I'd never been here, how difficult it is to get trophies up at this level. Anytime, most of my bases that I have an opportunity to attack, granted they're massive as far as the loot on them. They're just massive. Most of them are, are you know, I'm I'm, a, I'm usually attacking bases that have four or five hundred thousand gold in elixir and four to five thousand dark elixir. And, and when I mean four to five hundred thousand, I think I said that in Golden Luxor. So there it was, twenty-three trophies. Easy makes it to Titan. It's amazing. And I've also made it to the end of the video. <laughs> I actually thought there was another replay. I had no idea. Well, appreciate everyone watching to the end of the video. I know I haven't made one in a long time, but I'm actually recording another one right now. We have a bunch more attacks to use the Laloon. Uh, we all love this event, so I'm going to do a, a, another video with the Laloon. I uh, have a bunch of other things going on now. I have a project that I've been working on now I've been working on it for over a month uh, because I've been so busy at my day job I haven't been able to finish everything and I still have not unveiled it publicly so go to the website www.clashmadeeasy.com uh, We have a huge website for everyone anyone that loves Clash of Clans will love the website uh, There you'll have details of what we want to do. Uh, it's all this uh, hinging on the approval of Supercell, we have to get approval before we go forward with it because I will not be one of the people that have a banned account because we follow, did not follow the rules. <laughs> so, I really enjoyed making the videos, missed it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.